Let's talk money. What's up? David here. Guys, in this video, we're doing an update on Mulan Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. But just really quick, though, before we get into any of that good stuff, just remember, whatever I say, please take it with a grain of salt. This is not legal investing advice. You should always, always be doing your own research anyways. Cool. Without further ado, let's begin. All right. So on Friday, we closed at $2.51. Actually, that's where we're training at. And then the day's range was from 215 all the way up to 277. Trading volume was pretty normal, pretty much average for the, the last 10 days. All right, a couple things to note. So back in November, we were trading at $16. Every, ever since then, it's been kind of a huge downtrend. We hit under a dollar back in uh, February, even early March. We're still under a dollar. And then we're seeing a, now a nice little rise. So let's take specifically a look at the next, the last last month or so. Okay, so around March 21st, we went as high as four dollars and forty and twenty two cents around there, and then ever since then, we've been uh, kind of stuck in this range. Uh, so we don't go any lower than two dollars, but we also are not able to break that resistance line. From my point of view, the best time to buy is around probably right right now, right now around this two dollar range. So as long as we don't break that that uh, support line, we should be good. Let's say worst case scenario we do. Yes, it's possible we drop down to under a dollar again. But even if that happens, that's necessarily not the worst thing. That just gives you another opportunity to buy even at a cheaper price. So no matter what, you just kind of know what you're doing. Personally, though, I don't think it's going to break that uh, support line. I think we're going to actually test this resistance line probably sometime next week. Or at least this one for sure. We'll go above $3 next week. That's what I'm trying to get at. Obviously, it's possible we don't, but that's my prediction. Uh, here's the thing, though. A lot of people want to buy it on the way up. Me, personally, I like buying close to the bottom, whenever I see it, or I think it's a bottom. And reason is, your risk is a lot lower. If it's already down this much, what are the probabilities it's going to keep going down significantly? And your potential upside is much, much higher than your potential downside. I don't see this going to zero anytime soon, but let's just say it goes down to zero, hypothetically. You will lose $2.51 per share. However, though, well, you got to gain it so much more. I mean, at one point, this was almost $20. That's literally almost a 10 extra from this current price. I think sometime in April, we'll retest the support line or this resistance line around $4.15. I guess we'll see what happens though. Anyways, do me a huge favor in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this investment and about my prediction. Do you think I'm being too bullish or too bearish with this one? Do you think we're going to break this support line? Do you think we're going to retest this resistance line? Let me know what you think.